cockpit. Now we are up here at 10,000 feet today over uh, St. Simon's Island. We took off this morning from Charleston, from Somerville. Uh, and we got a fun mission today. My buddy Andy, uh, he's a uh, he's a captain for Delta, and he is currently racing me to Orlando International Airport. So he took off this morning from JFK about 30 minutes after me. Of course, he's going a lot faster, but I still think I'm going to beat him. And then we're going to meet up in Atlantic and have a fun flight uh, back to Charleston together. Can you go to Charleston as well? So it works out. Kind of a fun little mission. Uh, good reason to or nice day to take off of work and fly. And, uh, it's going to be a blast. So we'll take you guys into Orlando. This will be my second Class Bravo experience. Um, I flew into Charlotte, but um, not much going on up here. So I'll, I'll walk you guys through my preparation to do this. So uh, first things first is flight planning. I won't go over how to flight plan and what I do, but it's pretty in-depth. And it's more in-depth if I'm flying into, number one, an unknown airport, some airport I've not flown into before. Number two, a big airport like this. So. Class Bravo, MCO is a, uh, you know, or Orlando International, it's a big airport, really busy airspace down there too. So some additional things that I, I went through was, number one, I called the airport, I called the FBOs, asked, you know, what are the fees, how often you guys have general aviation aircraft flying into Orlando, and, and, and kind of get a feel for if they're going to be friendly or if I'm going to be a, a pain in the butt, and also what I do when I get there. So they are friendly to general aviation. I called Atlantic Aviation there. Um, they said, oh yeah, we get Moonies in here all the time. You know, here's, here's the fees and this and I think very reasonable fees. That's, that's one of the major things. Call ahead, make sure you have a plan and make sure that uh, you understand what you're going to do when you get there. The next thing I did was review the airport. I pulled up the airport diagram, went through everything, read the notams, you know, twice and um, kind of got an idea of where where I'm going to go after I land. So I am assuming today that they're going to land me on the west side of the airport. That's where Atlantic is. Uh, that makes the most sense. My taxi from the east side of the airport would be insane. I have to, I have to taxi pass all the terminals. So unless there's and there's two air there's two runways on the, on the west side of the airport. So one of them is noted out from 1200 to 1400 Zulu. That's not going to be an issue today. The other one is always open. So worst case, I have a a, a right turn off the runway. A runway crossing to the uh, to the uh, the ramp or the FDO. Best case, I have a right turn off the runway to the FDO. That's if I land on the right side of the airport. If I land on the left side of the airport, what's on your route? I'm just gonna have to be proficient with my taxi uh, instructions and uh, follow taxi time. So the winds are right out of the south today, so I'm expecting one eight right. Beyond that, just familiarizing myself with the airspace. Uh, I've flown down to Florida many many times. I usually go on the the west side of the state. Tampa, but it's not much different on the east side here, except I have some uh, MOAs that I have to worry about up to 4,000 feet north of of Orlando, as you guys can see there. And I did file IFR today, so they'll route me around all that if needed. You know, perfectly VFR conditions today, but uh, filing IFR into a Class Bravo just makes things way easier. You know, I don't have to worry about airspace and like that. I don't have to worry about it getting too busy and kicking me off, flight following, something like that. Right, I'm cleared right now to MCO, direct Savannah as filed. They might reroute me, that's possible, but I'm cleared to MCO. They know how much fuel I have on board, so I'm not expecting an issue. Cool, catch you guys back in a little while. In Orlando, I'm at 8 one the Mooney, 7 Twenty-seven nine eight one one. Jacks for a check. Customers three zero one six. Three zero one six. Twenty eight one one. Thanks. Okay. Checked in. Cool. Drop the cameras, and we'll catch back up with you guys when we get to New Orlando. Peace. Welcome back to the cockpit. Uh, we're on with Daytona approach right now. 
um, go ahead and get my screen recording. Um, just west of Daytona Beach. Uh, approach cleared us down to 6,000, and then uh, after, or then cleared us down to 4,000, and after a good rate, so we're giving up 800 feet a minute here. I usually like to descend at 500 feet per minute, but uh, they need me down a little bit quicker than that today, so we're giving up a little bit more. Trying to get me under some departing traffic. Got our weather here, where we got information uniform, which is current weather. Clear 1621 contact, uh, Jack. Not going to change. 126.35, see ya. 160, 10 gusting 20. 126.35, 10 miles of visibility, side clear. November 1974, Delta Trevor. Temperature 23, 2.11. 018, BFR. Structure turn altimeter setting already. Select the visual 17 left and 18 right. Did you want to see it? 18 right makes the most sense. They know the general aviation ramp is on the on the west side of the airport, so we're expecting that. And I'm expecting another frequency change before we land. All right, so. A lot going on in the cockpit right now. November 7, 9, 8, 1, 1, contact Orlando approach 119.77. We'll see ya. 1977, 8, 1, 1, see ya. Airspeed. 1977, that's what we want. Orlando approach, Mini 7, 9, 8, 1, 1, leveling 4,000. Five approach, 7, 8, 1, 2, 6, 5, 3, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, Okay, 2,500 is on navigation to... Better ground frequency in there. Better next frequency on the on com too. I don't know if you heard this. And Orlando approach moody, 7, 9, or 8, 1, 1, 4,000 with uniform. 1, 9, or 7, 7, he can't hear us. So, 1, 1, 9, or... 2, 6, 12, pop up, flight heading of 0, 9, or 0, fair descent, maintain 2,500. Radio one's a little bit weak. Orlando approach Moody, 7908114000, uniform. Two two six call poplin, actually a decent 2500. Okay, we have to call the for 2000, the headache. KFR 0808 radar contact, coming maintain 5000. 5000 KFR 08. Approach Mooney 7, 9 or 8, 1, 1, 4,000 with uniform. Mooney 7, 9 or 8, 1, 1, 8, approach, up to near 3, 0, 1, 9 or. Copy, you've got 8 at uniform, MTO. Expect visual approach, runway 1, 8, right. 4, 9 or in the altimeter, we'll expect visual 1, 8, right, 7, 9 or 8, 1, 1. Cool. Three bar is 0, 8, turn right, heading. So that's 1, 8, right. Three, zero, three, Better eight, altimeter three, setting. Does I have uniform? Three, three, zero, We're one, ahead of the airplane here, guys. Right, okay. Good news. Traffic off our left side here, 700 feet below us. Out of its sight. The airspace here is very busy. A lot going on. It's Detroit, Bob Orlando. But this is what I like. For 7 9 or 8, 1, 1, turn 15 degrees right. Contact Orlando, approach 135.3. 15 to the right, and get that frequency one more time. For 7 9 or 8, 1, 1, turn 15 degrees right. Contact Orlando, approach 135.3. 35, 3, 15 to the right. Eight, one, one, two, three. KFR 08. Thank you. Approach Moody 7908 11 4000. 7908 11 Orlando approach uniform front of NCO. Expect the visual approach on a 1 8 right. Fly heading 200. 200, we have uniform. We'll expect 1 8 right. 7908 11. Yeah, guys, really busy airspace. Florida and Class Bravo. Love it. Hey, we're expecting the visual 1 8. I don't have to do anything here. I know what 1 8 right looks like. Something I didn't mention earlier in the video that I did to prepare. Last night I flew this exact flight in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I try to do that whenever I can. If I have like, a new flight, I'll go do it in the simulator. I'll do it in a faster airplane. I did it in a Citation, a TGA-4, yesterday. And I did it with that tip, so I did it with actual ATC um, conversation. So that helps too. Um, Microsoft Flight Simulator is really good. The airport almost are exactly like you see in real life. I've used it on check rides to prepare for check rides. I've used it flying into airports, getting familiar with terrain, things like that. And I did it last night. Four five seven about five miles from the final approach. Six turn up heading zero six zero, maintain one thousand six hundred until seven. Orlando, so. Eight one one, turn up heading two one zero. Right two one zero eight one. Lucky four five seven, contact tower one three five two five. Yeah, they're one three five two. They're me all over the place to get me out of the way of these airplanes. But these are some of the best air traffic controllers in the world, man. At these big class Bravos, they're uh, they're on their game, so really cool to interact with them.
All right, we'll go through a checklist real quick. The gas, we're not going to change. We're going to land in this tank. Everything else is good for now. 119.35, but the 453, thank you. We're on vectors. We're squawked up our IFR right now. We don't have to worry about canceling flight plans, anything like that. Once we land, they'll cancel it for us. We got ground tuned in here, 121.8. That's confirmed. That's about all we can do right now. Heading one one, heading at two two zero. Heading two two zero, seven nine eight one one. He's trying to give me a right turn out of the uh, out of the way here for somebody. Okay, about to enter the class Bravo here. Again, we're on I our flight plan, talking ATC with a squawk code. Don't need to hear the words cleared into the Bravo. We are cleared into the Bravo because we were cleared this morning when I took off. Cleared into MCO. That's our clearance limit. That brings us into the Bravo. We're good to go. If you were VFR, you'd have to hear the words. Cleared into the class Bravo. And we're looking for Dallas 2587. Dallas Delta Airlines 2587, which is my buddy who I'm racing here. I don't see him nearby in ADSB yet, so might beat him. We might beat him in there. Number 811, contact approach 119.4. 194811. 150 radar contact. Maintain VFR 2000. Approach 8811 4000 uniform. 79811, turn 10 degrees left. 10 to the left, 811. 79811, turn additional 10 degrees left. Additional 10 to the left, 79811. I don't know why I said additional there. I'm so programmed to read back what they tell me. <laughs> 79811-1, flying 170 to 10 to maintain 3000. Down to 3000, heading 170, one Hey, 3117, come back to the power a little bit here. Going over speed up. I just got an alert on my Apple Watch that uh, my old Mooney is flying right now. That's pretty cool. 79811, if you see that the Spirit Airbus going off your left, you're going to follow him, so we might have to do one circle. Roger that. We don't have the traffic, but uh, we're, we're ready for the circle, 811. There's 79811, contact road 127.75. 2775, 811, see ya. Traffic, 1 o'clock, low, 1 mile. Approach Mooney, 79811, 3000, uh, heading 1.0. Number 811, Orlando, turn left heading 020. You're following a Spirit Airbus, I'll point him out here momentarily. Uh, left, 200 again for 811, say again. And uh, 811, actually disregard that, just fly your present heading and uh, maintain 3000. Traffic off your left, about a mile southwest bound is an M7, uh, should be level at 2000. Roger that, maintain uh, current heading, 3000. Clear 3643, heading 160, intercept the localizer, 1A right. Yeah, that didn't make sense. Uh, Join the localizer, 1A right. Just turn me left into the traffic. 3616, turn left, heading 240. Left 240, southwest 3660. November 811, turn, turn left now, left turn heading 360. Left 360, 79 or 811. Twilight 20, speed 170, contact tower, That's like 1, a 4 1.3. 180 degree turn. 170 and 243, Twilight 20, so long. Fear 2077, reduce speed to 190. Well, 199, sorry, so 2077. Fear 3643, you're over honor, cleared ILS, 1A right. Okay, ILS, 1A right, Fear 3643. Southwest 3616, turn left direction. Circle, 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 Clear 2077, speed 170 to Cocos, contact tower 118.45, good day. 170 to Cocos and over to Cyrus for 2077. Number 811, turn right heading 090, and traffic just over executive there at 2300. 090 to the right, we'll look at that traffic, 811. Jet Blue 1406, maintain 3000. Oh, okay, got 3000. That's Spirit Airlines. We have that traffic inside 811. Number 811, turn right heading 120, maintain 2500 till you pass over the Orlando Executive Airport, cleared visual approach, 18 right. Alright, right 120, clear down to 2500 till we're past the Executive Airport, cleared approach, visual approach, 18 right, looking set 9811. Yeah, through 1406, turn left heading 270. B, that's the number one follow the Spirit Airbus also, caution weight turbulence. Alright, we'll follow that Airbus, watch out for the turbulence, one more thing. All right, I got that Airbus in sight. Uh, I'm cleared for the visual. On a 2500 to our yeah, oldest airport. Kind of going right into the airport. Two zero direct C do. Don't want to lose sight of that Airbus though. Zero eight one one contact tower one two four point three. Take care. Twenty four point three. Eight one one. 
Atlanta with a tower Air 37 speed. niner 811 uh, visual one anyway. Air speed. 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 I'm going to aim for that second taxiway, plenty of runway, that's a good undercarriage, make sure proper good for now, switches, set for now, belts are on, we're landing, okay, I got that Airbus, landed at a thousand footer, so I'm going to, I got about, probably three, four minutes of separation, so I should be good, we need to blow it this way, so I'm going to push those faster backwards, so, I'm still going to aim past a thousand footers, because why not, long runway. About a two mile final, I gotta slow it down now. Drop in, give us a little more drag here. Gotta get below 120. And two, fuel pump comes out. 120, gears coming down. Down lock, pulled, and indicating. First notch, three to go. The gas I think I want under carriage is down here and indicating mixture and proper. Okay, down, which is a good seat belt still on, right? No traffic on the runway. 1-8 right. Cleared to land. I confirmed it. I can see 1-8 right. 1-8 right. Expecting a right turn out to Atlantic. Land this airplane. We'll land with three notches today. We got a lot of wind. Alright, runway is made, obviously. Here. Reached it. That's up, fuel pump comes off. Get this up. Three. Switch departure, good day. Mooney 811, right turn at Juliet. Ground on 1, 2, and 8. Right on Juliet over to point 8. Uh, eight one. All right, cool, guys. Orlando freaking International Airport. And a little Mooney. By myself. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Top flaps can come open. Roll short of the lines here and over to ground. Orlando ground, 37 under 811, clear 18 right at Juliet, uh, headed to Atlantic. Mooney, 7 under 811, left on Alpha. Left on Alpha, 811. Now, ready for a shocker here, guys? It's warm in Florida. Out of a wind, runway 18 left, Zeppelin 1695. guys made it back to Somerville nice windy uh, 22 knot gusting crosswind in here um, Andy just left awesome flight home super smooth up high and uh, yeah nothing much else to say it was a great day today awesome flight hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys did don't forget to like and subscribe you can follow me on Instagram if you want to Tommy flies a lot all that jazz and I'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace